moment at 6'11 from Cypress Creek, number one, Amari Stoudemire! At the shooting guard position, at 6'6 six six inches, number five, Tim Hardaway Jr. Yo, what's going on, y'all? This is my first game as a New York Knick. Man, I've moved to downtown Manhattan, gotten a condo. I've went out to dinner with Lala. Oh, yeah, yeah, Carmelo was there. But uh, <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, but this is my first game, and I have a lot to learn about the New York Knicks. I have to learn all of their shot releases so they don't get it blocked when I pass it to them. I have to learn how they cut, how they move around. But I also have to learn about my new jump shot. I have limitless range with Steph Curry's jump shot, guys. Now, I don't have the signature skill, but his jump shot is key. Like, oh, yeah, and it's cash, too. But, um... <laughs> Things are looking up. I can tell you guys right now that I feel a whole lot better with Steph Curry's jump shot and the release timing being normal. I remember that it was very hard for me to get jump shots off. Uh, I was getting very late, very early, and everything that was slightly early and slightly late still did not go in. But just to show and prove to you that this jump shot is cash, I'm going to take another jump shot. That's slightly early, quality B+, plus, and it goes down. If I would have pulled that with my uh, shot release 8 with a uh, quick release, I wouldn't have made that. But we're going to call a nice little post play down to Carmelo Anthony. I want to see if he has what it takes to be the post player that Dirk once was. Now, of course he missed that jump shot, but I'm there to clean up the boards, get the two to go. Now, I'm going to have to work with Carmelo on that. We're going to have to uh, do a few more post up plays just to make sure that he can hit those shots. Or if I have to give it to him deeper in the paint in order for him to make those shots. Now, I pull from, again, I am literally either next to or behind the hash mark and nailing these threes y'all this jump shot is unreal now i will say that my uh outside jump shot attributes is uh almost full i only have one more bar to go to fill that up so that's also why my jump shot is cash as well now one thing i will say about steph curry's shot his jump shot is never the same and what i mean by that is he pulls up in different ways even standing still, he still nails shots in different forms. Now, of course, Bargnani got that and one to go. That is not Noel, by the way. I don't know where he is on the Sixers. But the double teams are showing up early. I'm making my shots. And guys are very scared of me from behind the three. So it's time to open up the floor and get some assists. And get other guys on the board. I don't want to be a ball hog in New York. Yeah, we already have one of those, don't we? Oh, never mind. I, I, I'm sorry, Knicks tapes fans. Don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me. But uh, I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about this jump shot, man. Um, I noticed on catch and shoot forms, he hits the shots in different ways. Um, and also when I'm dribbling, he pulls up in a different way as well. And sometimes even when I'm on a move, he pulls up in a different way as well. So I don't know what it is about Steph Curry's jump shot, but it looks different so many different times. I, I don't know what to say. Like, it's, it's crazy. But just to let you guys know, all of my teammates are looking good. People actually hit their jump shots in New York. J.R. Smith, Tim Hardaway, and Iman Shumper are making shots for me. Um, I was talking to Shakedown 2012 at uh, the last WWE uh, 2K event that we went to, and he was telling me that he was now on the Knicks. And I was like, oh, snap, that's crazy. He was like, yeah. And uh, he was telling me that his teammates are not hitting shots. So I said, uh-oh, I, I know what I'm going to be in for. But surprisingly, they have been hitting their shots in this first game as a Knicks. But I will say that me having brick wall 
kind of makes no sense, but I'm going to take big advantage of it. Now, this is the last play before the half is over, and those are those plays that I hate. I get caught up in the double team. I can't move, so I try to pass out a shot. And who do I pass it to? Somebody that can't catch. But it's all right. We're about to get into halftime. I want to show you guys a quick commercial real quick before we get into the second half. Let's do it. Have you ever been shopping online and a pop-up says, hey, can you take this quick survey for us? Of course, everyone has. But I want to talk to you guys about a free-to-join website that actually pays you for your thoughts. Now, Opinion Outpost pays out in PayPal Cash, Amazon gift cards, and iTunes gift cards. So what I want you guys to do is click the first link inside the description, sign up, and start making some money. Now, of course, there's always research companies wanting feedback about TV shows, movies, and new products. So if you want to make some money for just giving your thoughts on, and opinions on a certain product, show, or movie, go ahead and click that first link inside the description. Now, after you guys sign up, you will have to verify your account via email. So if you have something like Gmail, make sure you click your promotions tab in order to sign up and even check your spam if it goes there. Now let's get back to this video. Oh my god, oh my god, y'all hear that music, y'all know what time it is, it might be cookie time, it might be cookie time, give me that, we out, you know what time it is, take off, boom, you already know what time it is man, throw this video a like, you know god darn well you love it when I play these passing lanes baby, come on, come on, come on, drop that like, let's do it, nah, I totally be turning up sometimes, I'm sorry, I, I do it for the YouTube, man. I do it for the YouTube. But I don't know why I'm guarding KJ McDaniels, man. Um, I, I didn't know that he was a shooting guard, but it's all good because they left Michael Carter-Williams open for three. I don't know what happened on the switch. The guy just said, no, I'm not guarding MCW. You can have him back. But he nailed the shot. But it's okay because we're going to give him a little taste of his own medicine. Now, I'm just going to pop out, take the quick jump shot because Michael Carter-Williams doesn't want to play in the defense and I get the shot to go. Look at the crowd turn up. Now, I have had certain instances where, you know, the crowds don't actually cheer when hitting jump shots. I don't know if anybody has seen that, heard of it, or haven't happened to them. But we're going to get this nice little assist to go. Yeah, I could have taken off, yes. But I need assists. People don't understand how hard it is to get assists in NBA 2K15. Because you can have 10 assists, but you might have 7 turnovers. So I'm just going to play it safe here. Like, check this out right here. That Steph Curry crossover over is the worst i don't know what happened but the ball hit off my leg hit off his leg we played fifa and he got the steal so it's all right i'm not tripping i'm not tripping now we are trying to put on the defensive prowess but joel Embiid is a beast in the paint whenever he gets to the paint it's either going to be a foul or a bucket i noticed that now that a lot of big men that have great inside scoring they are very hard to stop. But check out Carmelo Anthony wide open. Who leaves Melo open? He's a star. You should never, ever, 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 ever in your life leave Carmelo Anthony open. But hey, I guess since I'm on the court, things happen. Now I'm calling a nice little quick isolation play. Trying to see what I have open now. I'm trying to sway like Steph Curry. And I noticed that the double team comes. I pass it over to Stoudemire because I was scared that the ball was going to get turned over if I would have passed it to a cutter. And he got the bucket to go. I didn't get the assist. But it's all right. As long as my teammates are putting points on the board, we have nothing to worry about. Now, we have 30 seconds left to run in the full court press. And I absolutely take off on two defenders. Michael Carter Williams wasn't even in the play. He didn't even want to jump. He know what happened last time he jumped. So he just decided, you know what, I'm going to sit this one out, coach. You can go ahead and let somebody else jump because I'm trying to save my shoulder. Make sure it don't pop out of socket again, you feel me? Oh, yeah, 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 he got injured in real life. I don't know if you nine Sixers fans know about that type of stuff, but it's all right. It's all right. Michael Carter Williams decides not to take the shot. He decides to pass it over to Rowan, who's having a bad shooting night. We get the ball back. Ten seconds left on the clock, and it's not over. I'm going to absolutely troll right here. About to go to another takeoff, and Hooper, I don't know who you are, but you just got posterized. Okay, you didn't get posterized, but you shouldn't have been in the play. Bad things happen to people who just want to get in my frame. That's all I'm saying. But this game is over. I want to thank you guys for watching. We have a big cutscene about to happen right now. This is my first game as a Knicks, so we're about to watch something great. Let's get into it, y'all.
Oh, the beautiful arena tunnel. Don't they all look the same? Oh my, someone called the National Weather Service. We had an unanticipated storm in the building tonight. Homeboy was raining threes on those fools. Bam, 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 one after another. And they lose track of you again, bam, another one. That was so sweet to see. You keep shooting like that, it's gonna make you a huge difference for us. Oh yeah, a huge difference? Bruh, I am the difference, bruh. You hear me? I'm the man out here in these streets, and what was my agent doing in a tunnel for no reason? Hey, forget that, homie. I cross half court and I'm in range. Shoot, I get the ball in the inbound. I'm in range. Shoot, I step in the doggone building and I'm in range. I get buckets. Hey, you were good, but not that good. See if you can make it rain like that next game. Then we'll talk. Fair enough. Oh, I'm gonna make it rain. You best believe that. Oh, yeah. Let's keep it moving, people. Next question. Oh, man, not one of these press conferences again. Here we go. You must be frustrated with all those mistakes out there tonight. What do you got to do to limit those next time out? Uh, I need to learn how to pass. Duh. It is very frustrating. I just got to get better. It's unacceptable how much I turned the ball over tonight. I mean, all I can do is get back to work and get better, man. That's it. Let's go to Jonathan next. You're up. Looking at the stat sheet, you took an awful lot of threes tonight. Any particular reason for that? Because I make it rain on them. It. Okay, I make it rain. That's it. That's all. Well, they were giving me open looks, and I took them. Plain and simple. There's no need to look into it any deeper than that. It's deeper than the rap, though. Okay, you there. Was the first game everything you thought it would be? Well, you know, it's no secret. This is where I wanted to be from the start. So it feels really good to get my first game under my belt. Was the chemistry good? Chemistry. You know, chemistry is a strange thing. It can only get better with time, practice, patience, communication. But yeah, for a first game, felt awfully comfortable. Thanks, y'all. <clears throat> and uh, thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time. I love him when he's calm, cool, and collected, man. Ah, uh, so that was great. Um, just so you know, it won't always be that easy. Yeah, I know. They love softballs to the new guy. Yeah, but you, uh, you did great. Good job. All right, thank you. Yeah, get out of here. Yo, she want to hit so bad. <laughs> she want my body. Nah, man, I want to thank you guys for watching once again. Make sure you leave a like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't. We're going to keep this ball rolling with this 2K15 My Career Series. And I got a lot of things on the way. I got endorsements. I got shoe deals. I got all kinds of stuff. Ooh, y'all going to love it. But I'm going to holler at y'all on the next one, man. This is IKC signing out. Stay up. Stay blessed. Peace.